Good afternoon, you two by smokers. Well, another adventure in a store. You know, I don't understand. Yeah, I've been a big person most all my life. Uh, I mean, by definition, I guess I'm obese, but um, I've always been big boned. And even as a kid, I would have to get husky pants. Remember, they had husky pants. And my weight is evenly distributed, so as big as I am, I don't, I just, it's deceiving. Like those weight uh, guessing people always get it wrong because I don't look as heavy as I am because it's all over. My, everything's big. My uh, legs are big and. So now by waist in the pants, I'm 42 pants. And short legs, I'm 30, 42, 30. Now I don't understand how many big people have uh, twigs for legs, but all the legs in the pants are too tight. Now don't laugh, I used to get most of my pants at Walmart, and George Foreman, who's a big person also, his pants I bought for years fit fine. Well, they don't make the style anymore, they discontinued them, and they have George Foreman's slimline. Now if you see a lot of the people wearing the pants that are really tight on the leg, well that's considered the slimline. I don't like that feeling, I don't like pants clinging to my leg. So now what am I supposed to do? I can't find pants that have a leg big enough to fit. I don't understand. I even tried big and tall. And, uh, you know, waist you can alter. A leg's very hard to alter and make a leg wider. It's near impossible because there's not enough material and you redesign the pants basically once you do that. That's one beef, and then the other beef is this, they opened up a Skechers store, a big, big superstore. I went in there the second day they were open. This store must have, I don't know, 100,000 shoes. I mean, they're stacked from ceiling to floor. I counted five wide width sizes. And none were my size, but they had five wide widths. Well, what's up with that? So I said to the lady, where's all the wide? Oh, they sell fast. It says, this is only your second day open. What do you mean? And I've been at the store since. If you're anything past the 12, forget it. Eight to nine, there's a million every style you want. I don't know. To me, it's a form of discrimi discrimi discrimination. If you're gonna have a shoe store, have X amount of wide widths. The, the, the brand sells it, you can get them online. Why can't I go to the store and get them? You're online, you can't try them on. The size doesn't always mean anything, especially if this imported stuff. Understand what's happening. I really don't. Which is another thing. Size doesn't matter anymore because there's such a variation. I went to, um, this happened to me about six months ago. I had a wedding to go to, so I needed a dress shirt. So I go to a men's warehouse. And they have Joseph Abood, who's a famous designer in New York. So I pick a shirt, it was 3X. I put it on, you could have fit two of me in this 3X. So I said, wow, this is unbelievably big. So I says, well, let me try a 2X. Obviously, if 3X is too big, the 2X should fit. The 2X, you couldn't, I couldn't get my arms in it 
or Butnet. They said to the guy, something's wrong here. No, that's the way they run. I said, are you kidding? The 3X, I could put two of me in, and the 2X, I can't fit my arm in it. And it's a designer shirt, talking $75, $80. I don't know, I guess they don't know how to measure in China. ideas with pants. I went to a tailor once to try to alter the leg and that didn't work out too well. Very hard to do. You can't just add a strip of material because there's no way to end it. So I have big calves, like a bodybuilder almost, you know, you see the calves that are big. And my waist basically is normal for that size pants. And I just for giggles, I took a 48 pair of pants in Walmart. I measured the leg, same width on the leg. Now you tell me, a 42 to a 48, that guy's not going to have heavier legs? I don't know. Maybe it's me. Anyway, I'm curious to think what you've uh, experienced. Drop it in the bucket, please. Thank you. Have a good day.